So it's been raining all day outside, and that was not a great weather. But today I like to start a challenge. Well, it's not actually a great challenge. It's I'm pretty much I'm forced to take this challenge because I'm gonna live without smartphone for twenty days, and that was gonna be painful. Basically, here's the thing: I sold my iPhone Seven Plus already. I sent it to the buyers. Already, and I'm waiting for my Galaxy S8. Well, my Galaxy S8 is probably gonna come out at the end of the April. So from now until the end of April, I don't have any smartphone. I have no phone left. I don't have a backup phone yet. So I'm probably gonna live without smartphone for a less than a month, I would say. So we will see how it goes. I'm pretty sure that would be a little painful at the beginning, but eventually I will gonna adapt to it pretty very soon. But as smartphones part of really is essential part for our life, it's really, really hard to get rid of it. I cannot do a lot of things. I cannot do phone call anymore. I can still do messaging and texting because I have my iPad right there. And by the way, after using my iPad for like three to four days, I realized it was a really, really good tablet. I have a very, very solid, great battery life. I can use my iPad for two, three days without charging. So that was really impressive. And so without smartphone, I cannot do a lot of things pretty much. And when I go to school, I just. I only the only way is get using my iPad, so that is a little bit painful. But I'm still having my iPad and my MacBook at least, so that is not really really gonna be a mess. But living without smartphone, it's kind of a situation right now. I have I can I don't want to like spend another hundreds of dollars on getting a backup phone or getting a, just a phone for this few time period. So yeah, so I'm just gonna wait and see how it works. I'm pretty sure it will be a little bit chaotic at the beginning, but eventually it will be fine. So that's the big thing I want to share with you. I think、uh, we rely on technology just too much. So sometimes, like living without technology, should be a great thing. And I encourage every one of you to try to stay and live without your smartphone for. On your weekend or for a few days and see how it works. You will eventually find out that you have you will gain a lot of time to do something that is more amazing instead of spending on your smartphone. For example, reading some great books. For example, go outside, go to nature, spend time with your families. That will be something that is better than just playing your phone or looking at your smartphone all the time. So yeah, that is one of my big challenge. I'm gonna. Face it, eventually. So, uh, yeah. So that's pretty much the things I want to share with you guys today. And by the way, there's something I want to talk about for this iPad. I said that the battery life is pretty solid on this devices, and the display is actually okay. I there's no huge difference like between. Display on the iPad and display on the iPad Pro. I didn't realize that there's a very huge difference. The color is pretty accurate. It's okay. It's okay, and the experience really, really smooth. I play like NBA 2K. I play a lot of games or I do a lot of works on my iPad and runs very smoothly, very, very smoothly with the A9 chip. Everything is pretty great. And it's powerful. It's amazing. It's the camera is pretty bad. That's the only thing I can complain. But no one today actually take pictures or doing photography on the iPad camera. So that is not actually a huge problem. But the camera quality is pretty bad, especially the front facing camera is really really bad. And. Besides that, I think this is a really, really great affordable tablet for students, for everyone who wants 
to experience the iPad, or who never have an iPad before, or an upgrade if you're still using the first generation, second generation, third generation iPad. So this will be a great upgrade to that. It will be much faster than before, and it's a great buy actually. I love it, and it's definitely worth the money I spent on that. So yeah, I think. Apple did a phenomenal job on the new iPad. It's not like a futuristic, super big upgrade, but it's a great addition to the current iPad lineup and make the iPad lineup much cleaner. So you got the iPad Pro for professional level who want to do like multitasking, don't do some work actually, and you got just a normal iPad for people who want just want to do some entertainment, do some basic working stuff on. You can definitely get an iPad and for people who love a smarter iPad, they have iPad Mini 4 there, so it's a really, really logical iPad lineup. And also today, uh, I read a rumor that is talking about the new Mac Pro, which is the Mac Pro that the most powerful thing that Apple ever created, the most powerful product that Apple ever created is the Mac Pro. There will be an upgrade on Mac Pro pretty much very, very soon. I read the rumors on that, and the Apple are still gonna make great, great display. The iMac's probably gonna get an upgrade very soon. I don't know what is the time frame for that. But this is just the rumors. And recently I, I tried to say that the rumor is pretty accurate. Like before the Samsung S8 did actually announce or release, the rumor pretty much unveiled pretty much everything. So there's no surprise, there's no big, big surprise, there's no design surprise. So yeah. The rumor is pretty accurate recent, right now, at this time point. And yeah, that is something I want to share with you guys. So I'm today's the day. Today's the day one for no smartphone, and tomorrow will be day two. So we will see how it goes, and I will provide you an update every day on my smartphone situation. So that's it for today. Thank you very much, and have a great day, everyone. Bye.